Hello, my name is Tony Wilson. I live in Ware Shoals, South Carolina. Uh, me and my family moved here about 12 years ago now. Uh, it's a beautiful town, beautiful neighborhood. We live right on the river, so uh, we really enjoy that. Um, beautiful homes. Uh, like I said, nice neighbors. All, all together, great place, you know. We really enjoyed it. Uh, with the one exception that you see there, the 120-foot death tower, uh, <laughs> as some of the people on YouTube have referred to them uh, as. Uh, I always call them cell towers, but I'm starting to believe there may be something to the uh, theories that the tin foil hat wearing weirdos have once again this is my home uh, we love it here but a short let's see five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen feet well eighteen steps away from my beautiful home There uh, stands this tower with this warning. You guys can read that. Uh, if you're good at reading backwards, perhaps, with the camera setting I have. But it says beyond this point. <laughs> beyond this point, 10 feet away from the tower, uh, radio frequency fields at this site may exceed FCC rules for human exposure for your safety. Obey all posting and signs and blah blah blah. Nowhere beyond this point. But the, rea the reality is that the radiation coming from way up there probably have some fallout just over here. Uh, we didn't think much about it. You know, we live in a cell tower kind of world you know uh didn't think much about it like i say we've been here for roughly 12 years now though and uh we have started noticing some things that really got us uh wondering about this um all of our pets have developed tumors growths um lumps whatever you want to call them uh they're cancerous. My dog, my cats, my ferrets. Uh, I've, I've had animals my whole life, guys. My whole life. I've had all types of animals from snakes to squirrels to cows <laughs> to pigs, billy goats, dogs, cats. I have some parrots. I might show them to you here in a minute. But my point is that I have never in my life seen so many animals of various species in such a short amount of time develop the same symptoms uh never in my life and i'm 45 years old soon i have had like i said a, a, a laundry list of various different animals over the years and i've never never had one develop a cancerous tumor um, until we moved to this property and now all of my pets are developing these tumors. Um, that's a little freaky, but I'm going to show you some of examples of what me and my wife and our three, uh, sons are dealing with, with our family pets, the ones we love. So as promised, uh, I'll show you the birds. Hi, Petey. Hi, Petey. Hi, Taz. Hello. Hello. But they're cool, yeah. But the reason uh, for the video is to highlight uh, some of my other pets. This is uh, 
my ferret friend here. He's a good guy. He's a nice fella. He's been with the family about four years now. And And this is the tumor that's on the end of his tail. And he's being a little squirrely with me because I'm sure it's painful and I'm trying not to hurt him. But this is what my buddy has to deal with. Now you can see this is bigger than my thumb. It's uh, pretty gnarly. Never seen anything like that. Uh, this is my buddy Tut. He's a blue Doberman. So hi Tut. He is uh, exactly 13 years old. Um, let's see if you can see here. He is completely riddled with lumps and tumors all over his back, his neck, his legs, his side. Just huge knots all through his poor body. I mean, this, this is the size of a freaking small Nerf football here, you know? Um, just all over his body. He's just ate up with them. Never seen anything like it in my life. But the main reason for my video today is this guy. My buddy Mongo. He's my kitty friend. And he's been with us for uh, about 14 years now. He was about six months old when we got him, so he's been with us almost forever. And he's a really sweet guy and has just been such a good friend to the family. And then this happened. I don't know if you can see this, but it is a huge, huge knot. I can't even get my hand around it. It twitches and pulsates and seems to move on its own like something out of a horror movie. And of course now has started to rupture. And put my buddy in a lot of pain and discomfort. And that is not cool. And I have to put my friend down today. I don't like that. It's one of the worst days that I can remember. I have to put my buddy down. My family's friend. And then I have to explain to my two little ones, my 10 year old and my 12 year old, why daddy had to do that. That's something you never want to tell your kids when they come home from school and the part that worries me the most about all of this is that my children are here so yeah obviously we're going to be considering uh moving uh if it isn't already too late um now, you'll hear people say that some of these lumps on cats and dogs are uh, injection site uh, reactions that can also cause cancerous tumors um, because of the good things that are in uh, vaccinations that they want us and our pets to have. But ferrets <laughs> have never been vaccinated that I that I'm aware of our ferrets have never had any types of vaccinations so that kind of and if they did it wouldn't be in the tip of their tail so that kind of throws that all out of the window with the size and uh, nature of the lump that you witnessed on my ferrets tail earlier um, 
one day, one day, uh, maybe not so long from now, I'll die. And there will probably be a big lump that shows up right here in my uh, throat. Um, probably be like, you know, head, neck, and throat cancer is, is what the uh, deal will be. And they'll tell you. All the doctors will tell you. Yeah, he 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 smoked, and yeah, that's what happens when you smoke cigarettes. Yeah, I smoke. Yeah, but I can guarantee you, and I hope that my family plays this video at my funeral, because I can guarantee you that although I smoke, I have never smoked in this house. I don't smoke around my animals. Are my children and more importantly my cat and my dog and my ferret have never to my knowledge smoked a cigarette a day in their lives so take all of this with a grain of salt uh, I hope that you find something useful in this video maybe you learned something uh, that I wish I had learned a long time ago and hopefully you and your family will never have to go through this with your pets, your children, yourselves, or, uh, you know, any, anyone or anything that you love. Um, I'm going to share this. Uh, uh, I hope that it's helpful to somebody. We're uh, probably going to be relocating uh, in the near future. And hopefully it's not too late. Uh, but it really worries me about what uh, effects this has already had on my family, especially my children. Uh, thank you once again. I'm Tony Wilson, Wareshoal, South Carolina. Nothing could be finer than to die in Carolina. Peace out.